Well, good morning, guys. It is Saturday, November 4th. Let's go desiccate some beans. First paddock down, two to go. All right, let's talk desiccation. Uh, what are we doing and why are we doing it? Well, I'll show you. So it might be hard to pick up on the camera, I'm not sure, but you can see this tinge of green out here. So we've still got some beans hanging on a little bit green. We've got, you know, this, this is where the soil's a little bit better. You go down to somewhere like here where it looks, a, it's probably a little bit harder, a little bit more acidic the crop's almost completely gone off. So what we're trying to do is bring the crop in evenly. We want it to all dry down evenly so we can get in here and harvest it. Otherwise we're gonna be waiting until the new year to harvest these beans. So we're just hitting it with eight, we're only allowed to hit it with about 800 mil of paraquat, which just basically goes onto the foliage and it just gently burns it off pretty much. So that'll shut the plant down and then it will start the drying down process on anything that's still a little bit green. But the other thing that'll help us with is any rye grass that's out here. And there is a little bit out here and it's still relatively green. So it'll help with uh, shutting down any of that as well. But we had to be up nice and early this morning to come do this. You want, you know, a bit of humidity in the air makes this work a whole lot better. So nice and calm bit dewy and damp and cool and uh, just does a whole lot better job so we're gonna get out and knock off one tank full this morning and then probably tomorrow morning I'll do the other tank full and just finish the job off then just uh, try and do it at the coolest part of the day but it has been we had a full day of sunshine 27 degrees yesterday so hoping that today we're gonna go back up and we are gonna hit that barley I think we should be golden today and hopefully we can really get stuck into some harvest I'm just gonna three quarters fill this tank uh, for tomorrow morning because I'm running bore water in here for this job. If you're not familiar, everything on our farm pretty much runs on rainwater except for what we water our sheep with, which is bore water. And when we really need to, like this year, when we've only had like 10 inches of rain, well, we're gonna use it in the sprayer as well, just for a job like this. So we'll, uh, it, it takes a while to pump it with the sprayer, so Saves me a bit of time in the morning and then I can get out spraying quicker. Jeepers, I can't even get my boots off before I get attacked. Good morning. Who's in that? Who's in there? Yeah. yeah, that's you. Hey, give us a look. Is that your first pony? Wow. You've got quite the mullet. <laughs> yeah, let's roll. Should we go move a field bin or two? Shall we go move a field bin or two? Right. I don't really think One. you're dressed appropriately <laughs> for farm work today. It's all right, she doesn't like hopping out the car anyway. You just like to sit in the ute, don't you? I hope you're a real lady of leisure. I Do you have to move? <laughs> 
<laughs> I got you the Well, it's just past 11 o'clock now. We've dropped off our little assistant. She's had enough, she's all tuckered out. So I think uh, the morning dew should be well and truly burned off now. So we'll head up there maybe and get a sample and uh, get it checked out. What's your guess? For the moisture? Yeah. Uh, 13%. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hoping for more below 13 at least what do we got 11.3 11 11 better than what the header says those uh there's some big swollen wheat berries in there still the other day but they're not really like wheat looks like it's dried down heat yeah just over a space of another day oh 12 well, it says you always got to average three tests, <laughs> okay. so I think we'll be right. I think we'll be okay today. 12.1. 11 <laughs> <laughs> 12.1. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like we might be around that 12% mark, which is, yeah, well and truly okay. Stacey's going to run a sample over to Gladstone for me now. I'm going to head back up there. We're going to lift the straw chopper up because we want to try and windrow some of this to bale some straw. So we'll go up there and we'll do that. And then, yeah, we might just crack into a little bit more and by then I'm sure I'll have a phone call and have a uh, final number on it. All right, straw chopper's up, belt's off. You can see this straw is a little bit tough. It's doing what it was doing last year, leaving a bit of a windrow behind here, but that is absolutely perfect because we want to bale some straw. So hopefully it comes out the back of the machine pretty good. But uh, while we're out here, let's have a look and see what sort of a job we're doing, I guess. There is maybe one grain there, but that is an itty bitty little grain, that one. So I'm not too worried about him. I'd rather that one be out the back. <laughs> There's a wheat, but that is uh, looking pretty dang clean, everyone. To find only one grain there is not bad. All I'll do is maybe make some adjustments depending on how the sample looks from here. So it looks like Dad's just running an auger up here now, and then um, he might come up in the chase of him, hopefully, in a while. Man, that unload auger is just so quiet now. It blows me away. The sample looks pretty good. Looks pretty nice not too bad for a first crack at settings but um if it weighs it pays so i might open things up a little bit and just see maybe i can uh get a bit more capacity out of the machine and we've got plenty of leeway on this by the looks of the sample there it looks fairly clean so so it's a pretty nice looking crop but if you've been following along here for a while this is the big barley blunder right here and so this is crack and forage barley Looks nice. Don't look at the yield monitor though, you might get a bit upset. <laughs> well, have a look at our straw here and see what it looks like. I, I have no idea what straw, how straw should look really for baling. But I would say that's going to make some really nice quality straw. Still green as hey, look at that. I can't believe it's going through the machine so well. Unbelievable. Plenty of chaff in there, but that straw. I don't see any problem with that. Probably four tonne to the hectare there of straw as well. So, I don't know, maybe we'll try and sell some straw. We'll, we'll see. So you guys are not gonna believe it, but that sample that Stacy took to the silo came in at exactly 14% moisture. So, we are still too hot. Oh man, this is killing me. It look, this crop just looks beautiful and ripe and ready like the grain. Obviously the straw is still a bit green, but now 14%, that's still deliverable in some places. Like I was watching Thomas Brook Farm the other night on um, YouTube and they can deliver it at 14% where they are. So it's not like it's wildly high. We're thinking about just throwing some in some bins here and letting it sit there for a day or two. If I was putting that in my own bin to store at 14%, I, I wouldn't care. Like that, that's fine, it stores okay at that moisture. So anyway, uh, frustrations. 
and that's the other thing it's midday at the moment so you know there was a bit of a dew overnight the moisture is only going to keep going down as the day goes on today so we're pretty bloody close yeah we're not in any great rush canola is not ready the wheat's not ready the beans are not ready so yeah we'll just have a bit of a soft start today i think My, that is some nice looking straw over there. Wow. I mean, you guys saw that straw. That was green as green, some of it. And this machine is just gobbling it up. I thought we'd be grinding and groaning and grunting, but nah, just going straight through. But uh, what we're going to do now basically is we're just going to put about a chaser bin load in each of the three bins. We know it's sort of sitting around that 14% moisture so we can either blend that off with some drier stuff, maybe tomorrow or the next day, or we'll just let it, it'll, as it sits in the bin it'll lose moisture anyway. Uh, yeah, we'll just see how we go. We'll see, hopefully like it's meant to be nearly 30 today and we're meant to be getting up to the mid 30s coming up here in a few days time so it'll certainly dry down quickly. So here you go. This is the control module that they changed to get the float on the, on the front working better. So if you have a 70 series and you have changed all your float sensors and done everything else that you need to do and you can't figure out why, your front, your draper front will not cut evenly. It's probably the control module because this thing is cutting absolutely awesome now. I changed some sensors on here last year and it sort of improved it for a while and then eventually it just went bad again and I, I've been dealing with it basically since we've had this machine and I've, I've just had enough this year so I forked out the coin, got it fixed. Electronics are great when they work, they're great until they're not great. Stacey's in the tractor getting a lesson on how to drive the chaser bin. Maybe we might promote her soon. Well, given the circumstances of the season, it's nice to see some material and some crop going through the header. It's amazing what we've been able to do this year, really. Um, sort of pretty proud of, uh, yeah, how things are gone. And, you know, it could have been so much worse, but, you know, we were... We got things in on time, we sort of did everything that we could to give ourselves the best opportunity that we could. The neighbours are cracking into their barley just over there on the side of the hill. I think there'll be a few people getting fired up over the next few days around here, like I said, especially with the warmer weather coming. Well, this is Stacy's first unload on the go. Having a crack. Yeah, you're all clear. So I'll just dump this straight in here and then uh, I'll just reap one more and dump it straight in there as well. Yeah, yeah. How was that? You had your first try, did you? Yeah, that's really nerve-wracking. <laughs> that, I think it's hard, that's harder than driving this. And you know, Graham teaching you. He's like, yeah, <laughs> you just do this, you just do that. I was like, oh, is that it? <laughs> that was the lesson. Like, hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, guys, we have shandied a bit of grain across these three bins here, and I think we're going to quit for the day and just let this dry down a bit because as we've been talking about moisture is a bit iffy our biggest problem right now is this wheat that's just soft and wet that's really what's causing us problems so uh, we usually grow our, our um, barley on our wheat stubbles and therefore you always end up with a little bit of wheat most of our barley only ever goes feed anyway it's quite difficult we find to get malt you've got to get your protein right you can't have much rye grass you you know, things have got to be quite right to get that. So we almost have given up in a way of trying to grow malt barley and we just try and grow as much feed barley as we can. So 
Anyway, that might be about it for the day. There is varieties of uh, barley where you can spray the wheat out of it, but this is, we, we don't grow them. So it might be something we look at as we go into the future though. We'll just run another moisture test now, just for the fun of it. See what it's looking like. A beautiful dry 10.2%. So you'd have to imagine that you're uh, getting pretty close at that. But anyway, it was still nice to get out and get some crop put through the machine, get things dialed in and shined up a bit and all that good stuff. Yep, yeah, better turn the aircon on. I should also add that if you're thinking, oh, why don't you just go somewhere else and reap some other barley? Well, we don't have, this is about all the barley we have in this year, this stuff at home, because we're just way down on barley acres this year. It's just the way it worked out with the rotation. We put some canola in instead of barley. So there's just not much barley to harvest. So we're just gonna fluff around with that until we can actually get it done. Well, folks, I think we'll leave this video here. Soft start to harvest complete, I guess we can say. But I uh, just wanna say thanks to everyone for watching the videos. If you wanna see more videos or you wanna support the channel, just consider liking and subscribing. That really helps us out. You guys have yourselves a good one. And until next time, see ya.